drive through COVID-19 screening. Can't wait to see what that's like. Pretty darn hot today, 44 degrees C. I'm entering my last couple of weeks here in your waist. The next step is getting a swab stuck up my nose so far that it's like a brain scan. But if that's what one must do, that's what one must do, eh? That's the way it is. Well, hey there. It's the middle of May. It's still on lockdown here in the UAE. We, we're all thinking about uh, 30 more days of lockdown before things kind of loosen up. And I think that's about the same situation in the UK. So my plans are still on. The escape attempt will be approximately June 15th. We're about, we're about three quarters of the way through Ramadan. The, excuse me. Because of the high winds, I exceeded the wind rating on my hat. I have structural failure. So that's not really repairable. Hat or no hat, the goal, of course, is to have this boat at sea heading for the tropics. And I've been spending my lockdown planning a lot of work to be done. So one good way to prepare for a job is kind of sketch out exactly how the job's going to go down. Shortly. So what we got here, just a freaking mess. And a lot of it has to do with plumbing. Because plumbing of some sort is part of getting me ready to live on the boat, completely off the grid. Now you may remember the removal of the black water system. Power water out. The shower is here and that water, that drain, has to go down of course. The sink is right at the water line, the bottom of the sink, and that's true for the kitchen sink as well. So I've got three drain pads that all have to go down. And they call that gray water to drain normal drainage water. And then this boat, some Einstein decided to weld to the hull. Gray water is the water from the shower and the sink drains. This is what I have on board Skipjack. You can see that the drains go to a tank and the tank pumps overboard just like a bilge would. And some boats have the gray water discharge run directly overboard, as shown here. I've had boats like that. Some boats have the gray water, all of it, run directly to the bilge and it just pumps out with a bilge pump and anything else that gets in the bilge. It's simpler for sure, but some guys, like my friend Veli, says that it can just smell bad and some boats stink. And of course it depends upon the placement of the bilge and the bilge pumps in the boat. In my boat, this would be hard to do. And some boats, of course, have no gray water system at all. And no black water system, they just use a bucket. I've had boats like that too. Some days, I look forward to that simplicity again. Yeah, but back to my boat and the one I've got right now. You know, it doesn't look too bad. This system should work just fine, right? Well, this is just a snippet, of course, of my work list. It does help me plan out the job. I am going to buy a new tank and pump system, but mostly I want to focus on uh, the anti-siphoning that I need to install. Yeah, you see, we're vulnerable to a siphoning event. So the overboard fitting is just above the water line. Okay, so that's the inside view. And that's the gray water overboard. So yeah, so the bottom line is I'm susceptible to the siphoning event like the boat on the left. Okay, so my boat is a motor sailor and it's been used in protected waters primarily. And if a boat never heals, then I don't have an issue at all. But 
I'm a sailboat and I'm gonna heal. Yeah, so what I need to do is install the loop, the loop seal above the water line so the line never goes below the water line. And I have to install the anti siphon valve on the top. And that in itself is not that hard. And so it's just a matter of running the valve and the loop. That's not so bad, but the issue is access. Yeah, see, the problem is that that hose that I need to install is behind the cabinetry and behind the oven. So, if you recall from the kitchen, that gas stove there, that's the spot where I need to install the vent line. Again, there's the overboard, and you can see the slot that's cut, so that's good. I've got a pathway, but I need to run a vent line up through that crack, get an anti-siphon valve on it. So this is the sort of thing I do during lockdown. I plan future work. And the first thing I really need to do, you can see the new step nine, is remove that oven. And that oven was gonna go away anyway. I've, I've already purchased a new gimbal two hob stove to go under the counter. So, thanks for watching. I hope you watch the next one. I hope you leave comments. Take care. Bye.